All right, guys, welcome to our tip number nine, and we're going to be learning an awesome new function. It's a new addition to dplyr 1.0 plus, and it's called across. So this is a cool function, and what we're going to do is use it today to summarize multiple columns using group by and summarize with this new function called across. So we're going to take these city columns here in a manufacturer column and convert it into a summary table where we've got average city mileage and then we've got a low range and a high range uh, which are two standard deviations plus and minus and we're going to do the same thing for highway and we're going to see how easy it is to make the summary table with this new function all right so to get started what you need to do is go to git um, on your art studio pane hit the uh, pull button and it's going to update your files in the file system. What you'll do is you'll have a new folder here called 09 tidyverse across. And when you click in there, there's a .r file. So that's the script that we're going to be working out of. Just open that up. That'll open up this file. I'm going to scroll to the top here. And if you don't see an outline, just open it up right here. Um, and this is rtip09. It's the must know tidyverse features and we're doing 10 must know tidyverse features. I think this is the second one uh, we did relocate a week ago. So we're doing summarize and across. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you sign up for the weekly R tips. You'll get this video in your emailed, uh, emailed to you in your inbox every week. How sweet is that? Um, all right, so let's get started here. Uh, we've got the libraries that we're going to load. It's the tidyverse library and we can view the data set. So I'm piping it into the view function, which opens it up over here. Um, you can also check it out. Uh, if I just highlight that section, hit control enter, we can see that the MPG data set that we're going to be working with is automobile manufacturers, 234 rows by 11 columns. This is the perfect type of data set that we might want to summarize. And, we, and one thing we might want to do is take a look at this class column, uh, which has several different vehicle classes and summarize the fuel mileage by class. So let's try and do that. Um, we're going to do that using the summarize with across. So if you're familiar with summarize, if you've ever used that before, it's um, commonly used with group by and summarize, super common summarization pattern. And then what you do is you apply these summary functions like mean, standard deviation, etc. Well, what across does is allow us to scale our summarizations up, which means you can do more summarizations faster. Um, and what I mean by more is more columns. So you can summarize multiple columns just in one line of code. And you can also do the same thing with summary functions, adding more than just one summary function uh, in one line of code. So here's the basic usage. What we might want to do is take your MPG, uh, group it by class. And when we group by class, we have seven different classes in here. And what we might want to do is summarize just one column um, and uh, one function. Now you don't need to use the across function for this, uh, but I'm just demonstrating it so you can see how the across function works. Uh, right here is the across function. This dot groups is actually part of the summarize function. And that just tells it to remove these groups once, we, once we're done. Um, so let's run this. And we can see we've got the class. So these are all seven classes. And then these are the city, the uh, uh, city fuel mileage uh, by class. So that's not nothing too special there. Um, you can actually do the same thing if you just do uh, city equals mean city. Um, but what I want to show you is how the across function can now start to help you as you start to scale up these functions. So um, the first one is multiple functions. So say we want not only the uh, mean city fuel mileage, so the average city mileage, but we also want the standard deviation. We can easily do that with this cross function, just manipulating this dot functions argument, providing it a list of functions now. So if I run this, we now have the average and standard deviation of the city fuel mileage. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, not a whole lot of extra code right there. So then uh, what we can do is also scale it up by doing multiple columns. So we're just doing the city column right now, but what if we wanna do say the city and the highway, because we can see in this MPG data set, there's both a city fuel mileage and a highway fuel mileage. So we just do the same type of pattern here. And now we're adding two 
column names in here. So city and highway. Um, and then this is a concatenation argument, um, which just combines those. So we do that. And now I've got city, mean, city, standard deviation, highway, mean, highway, standard deviation, all in one table. Okay, but it gets better. Um, there's additional functionality to, to this across function that I wanna show off. You can name your arguments. So um, what you might wanna do is customize the naming scheme. So you can see you're getting city underscore mean by default, which just takes the name of the column and then the name of the function. Uh, that you're that you're passing it and if it's an unnamed function, it'll just grab the function what the function is called so What you might want to do is change that a little bit and it has these helpers dot fn and dot call and this names argument So you just put these in a little um, brackets and that'll uh, Customize the naming scheme and right here. What I'm doing is adding space consumption so this would be good if I'm trying to format say a table and I'm gonna run this without this last line of code here. So if I run it without the last line of code, I can see consumption is being capitalized here. And if I just wanna make a little bit of extra um, uh, renaming, what I can do is uh, convert all of these to upper using the str upper. And there's another function called rename with. So rename with or rename everything. Uh, and I just hit control and enter. And now it's all uppercase. Okay, cool. Um, the last one that we, I want to go over is with more complex functions. So sometimes you don't want just a simple summary, but you may want something a little more complex than just the mean and standard deviation. So I'm going to show you how you can do a 95% a, a we'll say uh, interval and uh, I'm calling it range low and range high. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mean uh, minus the two standard deviations and the mean plus two standard deviations. And uh, I'm gonna pass these as a list now. So I'm going from this mean standard deviation, uh, which was a list, and now I'm, I'm adding a little bit of extra complexity and I'm going to pass some arguments. So dot X will be whatever is in, this, uh, in these columns is gonna get passed to the mean function. I'm going to, and I use a tilde, and I put these in, in uh, parentheses and when I do that, I can process multiple. So I'm doing mean of whatever is in the column to be summarized minus two standard deviations. So if you get this kind of pattern here where you just use a tilde and then this dot X, um, that, that's uh, really all you need to know. And these are what's called anonymous functions. So let's run this line of code here now. Control enter. And now I've got the mean city, I've got the uh, low end of the range, and I've got the high end of the range. So this would be two plus minus two standard deviations, which is roughly a 95% confidence interval. Um, and then we have the same thing for the highway uh, fuel mileage. So we've now just scaled up multiple functions um, and added some complexity here uh, with very few lines of code using this across function. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R Tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here. Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.